Good evening. Uh, once again, this is Reverend Aaron Simmons with Plant the Word Ministry, and as promised, we're going to go on being being led by the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. Let us begin with a prayer. Heavenly Father, as we open your word, we know that your spirit is the comforter in times of need. We know that when we need sense of direction according to your word, Father God, we are led by the spirit according to you because we know Christ is the head of all things, the head of the church, and the head of the man. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, amen. So tonight, uh, I've got about, I would say, three scriptures, three to four scriptures. Um... And we'll go over this right quick. Uh, let's just take the time um, to go over this right quick. Um, and we're going to start in uh, 1 Corinthians. Um, it's going to be chapter 12 and verse 3. Wherefore I give you to understanding that no man speaketh by the Spirit of God, calling Jesus accused. That no man can say that Jesus is Lord, but by only by the Holy Spirit. Okay, so I'm gonna stop for a minute. So those that are that have been saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost, we know that that the Spirit speaks the utterance unto us, and that we are led by Christ through the Holy Spirit. And would it be anything throughout our day, ministering to someone, and when when we pray, the Spirit gives us utterance for what to pray for. So you got to get to a sense in your walk. That you know that you're being led by the Spirit. Don't be deceived. That's why I tell you several times, anytime I've got my Word of God out, I ask that you have yours out also. That way, you know, the Spirit confirms the Spirit, you know, and it says test the spirits to know that they are of God. Uh, but we're going to continue with the Scriptures right quick. Um, we're going to go to the book of John. The book of John is my second, second favorite book because there's a lot of... A lot of red letters in there and then for those that don't know that are you know reading watching my video for the first time or just getting into you know as a newborn christian you know you just get in anytime they send red letters um that means christ is talking and uh christ was saying this to his apostles when he was preparing them for letting them know the promise of the Holy Spirit. And this is in chap in John chapter 14, uh, verse 26. And it says, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. So, the Holy Spirit comes to us in the name of Jesus Christ. We receive the Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Those that have been baptized in the Spirit and received them spiritual gifts that I've talked about in previous videos, all of this comes through the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And in order to have any of this or be to led by the Spirit, you must know Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. <clears throat> but let me continue. Uh, we're going to go to John chapter 16, verses... Uh, 13. So if you'll just flip to the next chapter and uh, follow along with me. How about when the, the spirit of truth is come, he shall guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but wheresoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you all things to come. You know, a lot of times when we touch on... Um, the gifts of the Spirit, I told you, you know, the gift of prophecy and laying of hands, all these, you know, the Holy Spirit doesn't speak of himself when he's, he's come. He comes in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You know, a lot of times in some churches, and even me, when I begin, you know, my, my ministry, before I begin to record, I pray and I say, Lord, your, your Spirit is welcome here. You know, your Spirit is welcome here. I, I, you know, I invite the Holy Spirit to, to take over. And, and, you know, in a sense, this still the whole show because, see, when... When I'm ministering, it's not me talking. This is God talking. You know, this is God's word we're, 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 we're reading right now. This is not Reverend Aaron talking to you. Yes, I'm physically talking to you, but in the spirit sense, this is what Jesus Christ said. This is what the Son of God said. And, you know, we must abide by this and and know this. But I'm going to continue with the last scripture for for tonight. It's going to be uh, in the book of Romans, uh, chapter 5 and verse 5. Now let me give a word where it's supposed to be at. Uh, Lord help me, Lord help me. Lord help me. 
And it goes as follows. And the hope make not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, <laughs> which is given unto us. Which is given unto us. So, brothers and sisters, the, the Holy Spirit is given unto us by Jesus Christ. You know, when he when he was crucified on that cross, he told us, he said, I'd send you a comfort, someone that was going to guide you and lead you, you know, in my name and, and bring to remembrance, you know, what you need to know and when you need to know it. You know, the Bible says when time comes, there'll be a don't worry about what you're going to say, because when the time comes, I will put the words in your mouth, brothers and sisters. So you must be led by the spirit and know that you're being led by the spirit. No, it's of God. If it don't feel right, that's the spirit of discernment, you know, to let you know when you're listening to a certain thing or following a certain way. But when you're led by the spirit, just as Christ was, when he got baptized in, in the river, you know, with John the Baptist and he come up and it says the Holy spirit came unto him in a form of a dove and, and the heavens open up and the Lord spoke. This is my, beloved son which who i am well pleased and it said immediately after that he was led by the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted to be tempted so you know a lot of times when we face stuff in life and and we feel like god why is this going on you know and i'll tell you a lot of times that you can't have a test but you know you can't have a testimony without a test brothers and sisters so you must get to a point where you know that you're being led by the spirit and the spirit of the, the living God. See, we, we serve an almighty and a living God. So brothers and sisters, you know, the Lord is, is, is tugging at my heart to continue this scripture because y'all know, brothers and sisters, I preach, I preach salvation. I preach spiritual warfare and I preach this, the gifts of the spirit. But you know, those that are Bible believing Christians know there's no way you could receive any gifts without the blood of Jesus Christ. So I'm a I'm a hit on on down on Romans and we're going to go to Romans chapter five and we're going to continue from five to eleven. And it and it goes as follows for when we were yet without strength in due time Christ died for the ungodly. I'm gonna stop right there. Christ died for the sinner. For the Gentile. For for all those that, that didn't know Christ and, and and needed Christ, you know, that's the love that God shows us, and, and you know, this is touching on, he gives it in our hearts, the Holy Spirit, and giving it to us, see, see, it was something that we didn't deserve, it was a gift that was given to us that we didn't even deserve, but let me continue, for sacred, for sacred, for sacred, for a righteous man, would one die, yet pre-adventure for a good man, some that even dare to die, but God commanded his love towards us, and in that, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. All right, that's a lot to take in at one time. That's a whole lot on the dinner plate this morning as, or this afternoon or, or tonight, wherever. What, I know a lot of y'all are different in different time zones, so if you're watching it, I mean, currently it's like probably about 11, 12 where I'm at right now. But if you take that in, just stop for a timeout. God commanded his love, and Christ died for us. And he loved us while we were sinners. You know, sinners refuse God. You know, they refuse the word. But but see, he was showing that love towards us because like I said, in a lot of times in previous videos, we were made for him and by him. He, he You know, it's, we're his creation. He wants time and, and spent with the creation. But if you want to be led by the Spirit more and you want the Holy Ghost, you've got to have communication with God. You've got to to be saved and filled with the Holy Ghost. You've got to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, brothers and sisters out there. And, and you know, regardless what you face, when you go through trials and tribulations, you need to remind yourself that we, we serve a, a sovereign God. And God is glorified in all things. It's not for my glory, Reverend Aaron Simmons. It's not for Tom's glory or whoever it should be. It's only for the glory of God. So when you're when you're down in that valley and you're facing storms and you feel like God's not there and you, you you're wondering if the Holy Spirit is leading you, see during that time God is still glorified the same unless not more when you're on top of the mountain. So as you're led by the Spirit and you go through these trials and tribulations, see these are things that are promised to us and people don't want to take this in. But let me, you know, whatever happened to them God fearing Christians were, you know, love and charity and long suffering long suffering 
you know, Christ says it in the, in the text plenty of times. He said they they hated and persecuted me. They were going to do the same for you. So you you got to be prepared that when you're led by the Spirit, and I'm going to tell you this, brothers and sisters, as a minister and as a man of God and as a father and as a husband and as a friend, I'm going to say this on the realest level. Sometimes there's times when the Spirit's going to lead you to do something that feels uncomfortable, that feels like, you know, I may offend somebody or, you know, I don't know about this, but if it's truly the Spirit, your heart's going to go in that direction because the Bible says you must deny yourself. And follow Christ. You know, Christ is above all things, and the Spirit was given unto us in His name. You know, in, in that authority of the Holy Spirit through Jesus Christ's name, we can cast out devils, lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. <laughs> Eat any poison thing, and, and it shall not from. And these are promises, but I also recommend those that just heard that eat any poison thing and it not harm you. Don't deliberately try to drink poison. And the only reason why I said that. In the temptations of 40 days and 40 nights of Jesus being tempted by Satan, Satan come to him and said, cast yourself off, to the, off of the cliff, pretty much. And I'm paraphrasing. Yes, not. Now he lets your, your heel cast the stone, for he will give charge of your angels, of his angels, and lift you up. And Jesus reply, it is written, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Brothers and sisters, I said it plenty of times over, and I will say it until the day good Lord calls me home with him. You know, when Jesus Christ died on that cross and he, he rose on the third day, defeating hell, death, and the grave. See, he had, He holds the keys to that. You know, the Bible says, don't be a fool and die before your time. Don't tempt the Lord thy God. Be led by the Spirit and be humble and obedient to the Word of God. You know, I, I'm going to begin to do an altar call because I know it's getting late, brothers and sisters. And I just want to, I just want to, I know this is probably about the, the second shortest video I've ever done. But, you know, this is something, you know, that the Lord told me to put on my heart. And the Lord's telling me I need to bring it to a close right now. Um, so those that don't know this Jesus Christ, this, you know, I, I'm sitting right here. Hold on, the Lord, the Lord is speaking to me. Let me go on and finish this so you can hear the rest of this, and, and then I'll do my altar call. But God commanded, you know, and I go back to God commanded, yet we were sinners Christ still by much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from the wrath through him. And if we, and if when we are enemies, we are recoiled to God by the death of his son much more being recalled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only so, but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom he had now received atonement. <laughs> so brothers and sisters, what I'm saying is while we were sinners, while we were lost, while we were denying God, while we were at enmity of God, and while we were hating God as sinners, you know, Christ still, God commanded his love on his people, and he sent his only begotten son, and whosoever shall believe in him will have eternal life and shall not perish in the spirit. But but like I said, if you're if you're lost and you don't know Jesus, maybe you're backslid, maybe you ain't walking according to scripture, maybe you've got, got disconnected with God and you would like to pray this prayer with me. I ask that every head be bowed and every eye be closed and repeat after me, Father God, I come to you in the mighty name of Jesus. I acknowledge that I'm a sinner. And I acknowledge your son, Jesus Christ, died on the cross for me for the remission of my sins. His blood paid the price for my sins, Father God, a multitude of sins. I ask you to forgive me. I ask you to teach me to be humble, Father God, and allow your spirit to enter me. Cleanse me and make me whole. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Those that said that prayer, uh, I just want to say, those that said that prayer and was sincere in their heart for that prayer, I just want to say thank God and welcome to the body of Christ. First of all, I'm going to make a couple of suggestions as a, as a reverend and a minister and a man of God and also a fellow Christian. Uh, I suggest you go out and you get you the Holy Bible. This, this, this word right here. Go get this right here. This Holy Bible. Second suggestion, I suggest that you go find a, a local Bible-believing, Bible Bible-teaching, Bible God-fearing, spirit-filled church. <clears throat> You know, there's a couple of churches that, that I attend to, you know, um, 
If you're in a Wallace, North Carolina area, I, I suggest you go over there to Remedy Community Church. Uh, Pastor Kevin Williams, they do an awesome job over there. Wonderful job. If you're in the Clinton, North Carolina area, I suggest that you go to Hollow Grove Church right there off Indian Town Road. Uh, Pastor Dr. Randy Simmons over there, great fella, does a great job. Man's been pastoring there for over 30 years. The, the spirit moves there, just, just powerful, you know. Um if you're in the Kennysville area, I, you know, go to Word of Faith over there, John Quinn and John, and John Paul and Pastor uh, Pastor Victor. You know, that's with my home church. Uh, that testimony I told told you, that's where it comes, where it happened, at, you know, with that ministry. Uh, and may God bless all these ministries that that I and these churches that, that I speak of because um, I've been to all three of these churches. Um and like I said, the doctrine that they teach is biblical. You know, the spirit moves. Uh, but also, um, I, I suggest that you watch my video for guidance and, and you know, get, get a hold of this word of God, you know. And those that subscribe to my channel, I really do appreciate. And I hope this is an inspiration to you, that it sows the seed in you and, the, and, it, and it grows on good soil and it begins to sprout up. Um, those that watch my videos, I just want to say thank you and maybe this give you the boldness and maybe this is bringing you close to Christ. Maybe, maybe you're, maybe the Lord ain't led you to subscribe, but maybe, you know, he's tugging at your heart. So every time you're viewing that video and you're hearing that word, it's getting planted in you and it, you're, you're, you're get more understanding of the word of God. And also, uh, I just want to say a prayer real quick for those that are sick in the hospital. Um, those that are lost and, and you know for the nation in general and then i'll pray and dismiss us heavenly fathers we come to you in the mighty name of jesus we know your word is sufficient enough that your word speaks that that heaven and earth shall shall pass but your word is sufficient and in your word father god it says we hold the power of life and death in the tongue and he that eat the fruit thereof father god i speak now healing over all those that are in the hospital sick with 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 infections or or any kind of illness father god i i i pray that you break the yoke and, and and father god you release the infirmities on them father god like you you have done to me in in times past father god how you have and those that those are that are poor in spirit father god i ask that you strengthen their spirit and you send that comforter father god and you you, you let them know that you're there to the brokenhearted, Father God, that you you said you'd never leave them and never forsaken, Father God. You go to the end of the earth to them, Father God. Father God, I just know that I could feel it in my spirit, Father God, that you are moving across the, this land like you've never done before, Father God, that you will show your amazing works, Father God, and your, your cleansing of the world, Father God, of the sins and iniquities, Father God, that each soul is coming to you day in day, Father God, that the spirit move in a mighty way across this nation, Father God. I pray for for the leaders, the leaders that Father God, you would you would give them God 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 wisdom, Father God, that they will aim towards you in this nation, Father God. Those around the world that don't know you, Father God, I ask that you spread, stir up the spirit in them, Father God, and send your word across the nation, Father God, and across the world. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. <clears throat> Those that 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 follow along with in prayer, I, as I say plenty of times. Faith come by hearing and hearing the word of God, um, you know, and when you pray, remember that you're being led by, the, we don't know what to pray for. The Bible says the spirit gives us others what to pray for. So <clears throat> as you pray, you know, you know, it's coming from the heart, this, this spirit, your spiritual mind and in spirit heart where it needs to be at. But without further ado, I'm going to pray and dismiss us and, uh, before I pray and dismiss it, it is currently Friday night. I will minister to y'all again Sunday night. Unless the Lord leads me to uh, minister to you tomorrow night. But let us pray and dismiss. Father God, as, as we come to you right now in the mighty name of Jesus, we lift up holy hands, Father God, in honoring you in all things and giving you glory, giving you giving you praise and honor for all that you do. Because we know you are a servant, God, Father God, and we know you shine your love and your mercy. Your word says, I, ch I show mercy on who I choose to show mercy on before I am God. Father God, I pray that the, your love and abundance to those that, that, that follow you, Father God, that you shine through them and you allow the Holy Ghost to move in a mighty way that is like a waterfall, Father God, a water hose, and this sprays out and continues to spray and touch other people in the Spirit, move in a mighty, mighty way, Father God. I ask for those that, that are down and out and, and fighting the spirit of depression, Father God, I ask that you send a comfort and we release them, Father God, from that that 
that spirit of depression, that spirit of alcoholism, Father God, that spirit of drug addiction, any kind of form of uh, immorality, Father God, that's not seen in your eyes, Father God. I ask that you rid it from it, Father God, and we loose it now in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God. We loose them from it in the mighty name of Jesus. See them below. Yes, Lord. All this I ask in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Brothers and sisters, y'all be blessed and have a good night. And I will be back ministering to y'all Sunday night. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.